Hey guys, today we are going to be working on our bathroom reno. It has been a long time since you guys saw it, so we have done a lot for it already. We still have a bit of things to do, but I'll quickly just show you kind of what it looks like and what we have for it already. And then in this video, we're going to be installing some lights. Yay! Luckily Chad's an electrician, so he knows what he's doing, but he insists that I learn how to do it as well. In case I ever want to light, install lights in a room by myself one day. Okay, so we have our vanity that's right now it's in our bedroom, um, but we got it from Costco and so it's a marble, white marble top and then it is, this is the back actually, it's kind of pushed up against the wall. Um, we're trying to make way so we can actually have this room still, um, but it's all soft closed doors which I'm really excited about and this we got separately. This is um, what it's going to, the faucet and obviously this isn't going to be here. So it'll go down and then we got actually these ones from shower direct or no shower door direct.com um but we got them from amazon because it was cheaper to get it on from there than home depot you saved like almost half price even with shipping um so then we have a similar one the matching one for the um, bathtub and then we also have one of those hand nozzle sprayer things um which i like if we ever have to bathe the dogs or something um like this so, and then today we have kind of all the things on the bed that we're going to be doing. Chloe, are you going to be doing lights too? Oh, you're so cute. Um, so these ones we got from Home Depot, a set of six. Um, I think we only have five lights though, but yeah. So Chad's doing something with it already, but yeah. And then I will show you, um, yeah, our closet is a disaster zone. Oh my God. So, we have nice close, 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 bam! So, that's, we, we can clean this up soon, but, yeah, and then all these nice beautiful shoes, bam! Um, but we do have, um, now this tied off because Chad was doing some sanding, um, oh my god. But, yes, so that was the old wall, and then this is all new before the bathroom, yeah, the bathroom only came to here. And now we've added all this, and then the bathroom also only came to where that was here, so it's tiny. And then we have this, and oh, you can actually see his beautiful tile job. Um, we got white, um, white marble tiles to kind of match, but yeah, you can kind of see. We just have everything covered to get the, all the dust on it, but beautiful. And then our um, floors, again, you can't see, this is just... Oh yeah, we've taped it all down, but they're nice black, um, yeah, nice black polished tiles. And paint colors, these were on the wall, and then Chad got them off the wall when he was doing it. Um, so I had four paint chips, um, with multiple different colors, and then from, <laughs> so I have four paint kind of chips with multiple different colors, and then from there I'm going to choose, I think, two, and we're actually going to get little paint pots. Um, so these are all of them. Look at my hands already, just from touching everything. Um, yeah, I'm thinking, well, I think that's too, like, a cool blue, and since the floor is going to be, it's like black, black, we didn't want anything too dark, so, and then that's a bit too green. Right now green is a trendy color, but I don't know for later, and so we're, I'm kind of between these two chips. Um, Either this one or this one, I just think that could be too blue, or then this is a nice way to incorporate green without going to like that kind of green, or then this one. See right now I'm leaning towards these two, or one of those two, but then I, I don't know, maybe if once the whole room is painted it won't stand out enough, so maybe we'll go with one of the brighter ones, I don't know. Let me know what you think. I will be doing a full video where I'm going to like have, yeah, actually swatches or like paint samples on the wall and then you guys can help me um, tell me what you think. But yeah, so I'll show you our ceiling. Um, this is where, oh my god, our lights are going to go. Why don't we do a six? Huh. Okay. So yeah, the vanity is going to go here and Chad did all the plumbing so that's going to be hooked up um, after we paint though. That's, and that one right now we just have one thing hanging down from it. And that's going to be the ceiling fan. Um, and then that space that he mudded over, that used to be the entrance into the attic. So obviously we don't want an entrance to the attic right over our bathtub. Um, <laughs> so he closed that up and then there's a little, there's the hall on the back of that wall. Um, and then there's like a little linen closet because, yeah, we built this wall completely. Um, and then here we're going to have a pocket door, which I'm very picky. 
and can't find a pocket over that I like. My idea is to have kind of the same dark wood as what the vanity is going to be and the closet in there um, and then have like frosted um, like frosted panels of glass so I want it to have like like thick sections of dark wood and then so maybe and then like maybe three or four panels of frosted glass because obviously it doesn't really we don't really need a door but because it's the bathroom there's a toilet we want a door um so yeah we don't care if it's frosted glass but okay anyways a huge hat so that means we're going to be doing something with these lights ah! so we open it take off this thing oh my god Pull this out. Check these all the way. Take our needle nose pliers, bottle nose, needle nose, and stab this in. Just like that. And then we twist. I'm grabbing back and forth or twist. To take it away. Did I do it? Yep. So I get to do the nice easy ones. So we're going to start with just a single thing. We're going to put this gray thing through it. I'm going to use our knife and just cut gently in the middle. We just want to open up and expose the wire here. And then we're just going to get rid of this. Just like that. And then we're going to grab our pot light shell and we're going to just kind of take these wires out of the way and thread it through this open hole and then it should just snap right in I ain't not snapping and then we're going to kind of have all our different wires here so we're going to start with the copper one the ground. The ground wire. So we're going to cut it so they're the same length. Why can't I never cut this? Because those don't cut stranded wire. Oh. Other one like cuts stranded wire. Then we're going to get a blue moret. We're going to line these ones up. And then we're going to twist to the left just to join them together. Just twist, 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 twist. And then we're just going to nicely tuck this inside the box. And so now we have our color two. We're just going to match the colors. So this is actually really nice and short so we don't have to cut it any shorter. Um, and then we're going to go to the 14 gauge on this little wire stripper tool and just strip that off so we have that exposed. And then you're going to match the white to the white. So just kind of make sure these are all together. Together. And then we're gonna hold them together and take our blue moret and just twist it on there. Does that blue moret cover all the copper? Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, I don't see any copper. And then you're just gonna push that back in there. And I'm going to do the same with the black ones. They just look like you stripped a little bit too much, that's oh, all. No. But if you can't see the copper, you're fine. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. And then we're going to do the same with this. Just twist this so all these little molly wires are all together. And then here. And we're going to add this blue moret and twist it together. And then again, we're just going to push this in, and it's nice, and well, then we're going to look for a cover from my handy assistant. <laughs> and then we're just going to put on the cover, and snap that in place in the bottom, and that's how you do it. And then we're going to try to push this through there, so hmm. there's like insulation all in the attic, so it makes it a bit tricky. The way you were going is probably good. 
And then you gotta twist. Ugh. Make sure you don't open your mouth when you're looking up. Yeah, and then yeah, just constant pressure, and then back pressure on one side, and pressure on the other side. Yeah, and then on this side. Yeah, and then this. And then you grab a screwdriver. And there's little screws in here. And as I'm tightening them, they're going to help anchor those little metal pieces that were hanging down. And just to kind of tighten them in place, since you see here it's not quite fully in. Well, it's not flush against it, so. I didn't get it quite as tight because my arms got tired. <laughs> well, here's Chad just finishing up. And it was already pretty tight as far as I could screw in because I'm not as strong, so. Here he is doing it. And can you show us what it's going to look like once the cover's on? So here we have our covers. Um, so we're going to have a moment of truth. Chad is opening a light bulb. And we're going to see if we did it right. If it actually works, I can't open that with my hand. So right now we just have kind of like a portable light, but they are all in. We're going to be painting the ceiling white, but yes, we still, he still has a bit more mudding to do and then a whole bunch of sanding. That's why it looks all, yeah. But yeah, you can see the different all the different rooms. So this used to be the bathroom. That gray, you see the closet. And then all this green, that's all new stuff that we put in. Yay. So, which one do you want to try? Want? Should we try what I did? Well, they're, they're all working. They won't, they're all working. Oh, okay. So if I did one thing wrong, none of them are going to work. Uh, not necessarily, okay. but close, yeah. So we're going to put this one in. Ooh. So, you want to go turn the light switch? Oh, I just want to see. Ooh, so it clicks in like that, and we're going to see if it works with our light. Oh, it works! Thank God. And we got dimmable ones, so let's see. Oh, that's pretty. Oh my God, it actually works. Don't want to blind you guys, but look how pretty that is. Compared to them that doesn't have a light bulb in it. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm so impressed. Good job, team. That was mine. <laughs> so now we have them all in. We only put the cover on one of them. Um, we're going to take that off anyways because, yeah, we still have things to do around the edges. Um, but we actually have lights. And the main thing is I wanted to have the lights, um, what it was going to look like, so I can better choose these paint things that are now on the floor. Um, <laughs> So just so I can see what it's actually going to look like in the light. Anyway, so now that we see, we can kind of see what it looks like in the light and it kind of can help us better choose it. So, ooh, which one do you think? I don't know. I like one, two, three, four. I like the second and third swatches, either the middle one or the bottom one. I'm still trying to decide. But yeah, I'll do a video on it when we have more samples. Oh, but so pretty. Yay. All right, so that is going to be it for this video. We are done our lights. It's, it's like 11.30 or maybe just 11.15. Finally, we're gonna go to bed. Um, but yeah, it was our project today that when I came home from Brooklyn, we wanted to do this. So I'm glad that we got to. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching and I will update you guys helping me choose a more exact paint color and then yeah showing you when this place looks a little bit more cleaned up um we don't have like things on the wall and all this like dust and stuff okay thanks so much for watching and i'll talk to you later <laughs> bye